Hi there. Thank you so much for joining tonight. I am Shauna from Espel Wellness, and I wanted to come on tonight and just talk a little bit about oils with kiddos. So um, I personally don't have children. Um, I spend a lot of time with them in my life as a school therapist, um, as a youth yoga instructor, and then, um, you know, a big part of my passion is sharing essential oils and natural solutions so that um, not only myself, but other people can benefit from that. And I know a big part of that is being able to figure out how to use these safely with your kiddos. And so I wanted to share some information. I know uh, many of you are already using them and um, also can, can share some of your experiences to support each other too. So I, I hope that you feel that this is a place that you can do that. And so tonight we're going to talk about um, safety with essential oils um, with kiddos. I'll give you some suggestions of different um, blends you might use or oils you might diffuse, um, use topically um, and aromatically with, with your kiddos. And then um, we'll talk about how to get kids involved. It's really important um, that we start to teach the kiddos about um, essential oils and how um, they can benefit from those because I feel like if we can teach them young about having informed care, then we're um, really setting them off um, being able to use these things for themselves. So um, that's important part of my message as well. I do want to say, of course, I'm not a physician. So um, all of these things are based on experience and based on research. Um, I do a lot of research to learn about these. And so that's where my information is coming from. Um, I do always recommend that if you have questions or concerns or you're not sure about something to open up that dialogue with your physician. I can't promise you that they're going to know everything about them, um, but it's important for you to feel comfortable mentioning that. So if you can get yourself informed about why you might want to use them or what you might want to use, then you can certainly guide your questions a little bit with them so that they can help support you with those decisions that you're making for yourself and for your family. Um, we'll start off just by saying that, um, you know, the cool thing about essential oils is that it's actually not a fad that just started. Um, I know sometimes it seems like that here in the U.S., um, but oils have been used across centuries, um, especially, you know, in other countries. They've been used for, for all kinds of wellness for a really, really long time. And so um, I think we're just behind the boat on some of those things here in the U.S. Um, with our Western medicine approach. And so um, there's a lot of information out there about using them for wellness. And so I think we can lean on experience of, of other people using them for a really long time. And we do want to make sure that the oils we're using are, um, are safe. And so unfortunately, whether on purpose um, to save money or um, unintentionally, sometimes essential oils on the market can actually um, have synthetics in them. They're um, not regulated by the FDA since they're not a drug or a food. And so um, unfortunately that means that we might not um, have the standards with some of those ones we find um, at the supermarket or at the store or in the dollar bin I've seen. <laughs> um, you definitely wanna make sure that you're, you're thinking about that, um, especially when you're using oils for your kiddos. And so doTERRA oils are are definitely safe for kiddos. Um, you can see right on the bottle any sort of precaution that you might have to take um, for that specific oil that you're looking at. Um, and our oils are tested. They're tested a lot. They're tested um, by not only the company, but third party. We're making sure we're getting these plants from where they grow the best, um, really having strong relationships with our co-impact sourcing. So all of those things are super, super important when you're choosing oils for your kiddos. Um, and chances are actually you've, your kids have used oils before, even if you haven't chosen them um, because they are in a lot of products now. Um, but again, knowing what's in them is gonna help you be able to choose ones that are, are not having um, potential toxins um, in them. Um, if you're thinking about using oils internally with kiddos, I'll talk about that in a little bit, um, but know that they have been exposed to them before, okay? So we're getting these naturally from plants. So they have had um, essential oils from fruits and um, vegetables and plants that they've had before. Um, and then, you know, just like anything, um, anything that we're putting in and on our body, we're looking for guidelines. And so that's kind of what we're looking for with our essential oils too. 
Um, the doTERRA website is phenomenal. You can find all kinds of wonderful things. There's an ebook on using oils for children. So you can dig into that. I can link some things for you so that you can, can dig into those later on your own. Um, but I'll just kind of briefly go over some of those things um, here tonight. And so we want to definitely think about um, those safety guidelines. And so um, just grabbing my notes here, I want to kind of look at a few things um, as I'm talking to you guys. And so you want to make sure that you're always supervising your kiddos when they're using essential oils. And so it's really because they're potent, um, not because they're dangerous. We just want to make sure that they understand um, that they can use them with your guidance. Um, and you're always going to make sure that you're giving kiddos a smaller dose than you would give the adult. And so an easy way to think of that is just like cutting the dose in half. Um, there's some different guidelines out there, but um, that's one that you could certainly um, be able to, to use as a guideline as you're getting started. Um, diluting oils. And so diluting oils is not going to take away the benefit. Um, it's really just actually going to help reduce the risk of sensitivity um, and actually helps the oils absorb too. So um, using a coconut oil, um, this is the doTERRA fractionated coconut oil. Um, and then if you're like me and you use it all the time, you might want a bigger bottle. And so um, this in vivo is a brand that um, I get on Amazon and really, really like that one too. So those are things that you would want to have around so that you can make sure you can dilute them. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit further in a minute. Um, we want to make sure that we're avoiding sensitive areas during application. So um, you can test those out. The bottom of the feet is a really great place for that. Um, there's some thicker skin there, and so um, you can kind of just apply an oil um, if you're using it for the first time and um, check back on that and, and make sure that you're not having um, any sensitive reaction to that. Want to be aware of sunlight with essential oils, and so especially our citrus oils. Um, the bottles are actually going to say if any of the other ones um, are photosensitive, and so what that means is that you just don't want to put it on skin that's going to be directly exposed to the sun within 12 hours. So um, still can get the benefit, you know, putting on the bottom of the feet, that sort of thing, but you wouldn't want to put um, one of the citrus oils on a kiddo's chest and then have them go out and play. Um, so just something to keep mindful of. And it's not all citrus oils. You can um, see right on your bottle whether it is or not, but there's a good amount of citrus oils that are, so it's just kind of one of those um, guidelines to follow. Um, also, kiddos should not really take the adult supplements, um, and so um, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but there are some supplements for um, kiddos specifically. Um, if you do have older children who are able to swallow or teenagers, then they can certainly safely take half a dose of some of the adult supplements. Um, and then you'll want to pay attention to where you're storing them. So, you know, I always encourage people to keep their oils out because that's the way they're going to use them. But making sure you're just being mindful of um, if you have little children around or curious children around, you want to make sure that they're in a safe place out of reach. Again, because they're potent, we want to make sure that they know that we're not going to, um, you know, take a bottle and, and dump a lot of that out. Um, and then educating yourself, right? That's why you're here today. And so that's important for you to just always kind of be digging in. There's a lot of resources out there um, for you to dig in and and figure out what's best for you and your family. Um, and if, like I mentioned earlier, consulting with your doctor, like there's nothing wrong with asking your doctor what they think about it. Um, it depends on your doctor's experience um, with this sort of thing, if they're gonna be able to provide you the information you're looking for. But I certainly encourage you to, to start the dialogue with them so that you can understand um, where they're coming from and some of that. All right, so um, I talked a little bit about some different ways that we would use it. So definitely aromatically, right? So that's using a diffuser, being able to put some drops in there. Um, I'm going to talk about specifics in a little bit, but using a diffuser is a great way to do that. Again, you're just cutting the dose down a little bit um, as you're putting your drops in there. If you were going to put eight drops of something for you in your bedroom, you might would put four drops in the kiddo's bedroom. Um, and again, don't put it, you know, where it's super close and kind of coming into um, their, their face, but putting it away across the room is certainly safe and appropriate for them to be able to, 
to really get those benefits from the aromatics. Um, internally, um, they certainly, if they're able and old enough to take a capsule, then taking um, one or two drops of oil in a capsule is appropriate for any of those oils that um, the bottle does say that they're supplemental facts for internal use. And then topically, so, you know, I talked about that dilution. You want to make sure you do that. Make sure you do that sensitivity test. Um, when you're doing them topically, make sure you're avoiding things like the eyes um, around the eyes. So if you're using something for like head tension and you're getting, you know, you want to be out more here um, versus here. And then, um, of course, we want to avoid putting on broken skin. Um, you know, there's some great blends out there for ear things going on, but making sure that you're putting them around the ear versus in the ear. Um, we don't want to put oils in the nose. So just avoiding eyes, ears, nose, and broken skin are important. And talked a little bit about that. Um, I will talk about some of the oils that are super helpful for kiddos with different things going on. So some things that we know that our kiddos are dealing with are focus. So um, basil is actually a really good oil for focus. It can help um, during homework. You can diffuse it, um, you know, an area where the child is studying um, or reading or just completing things that we need to keep that brain focused. So basil is a really good one for that. Um, it's really hard to talk about uh, bugs right now with the temperatures we're having here locally. Um, but Arbor Vitae is a really great oil for repelling insects. Um, if you guys are taking notes, that's wonderful. If not, then you certainly can let me know. Um, these that I'm giving you right now are actually pulling from the ebook, so you can certainly um, get that right on the website and look at them too. Um, cedar one is a, absolutely a great one to soothe the body, soothe the mind. So anytime that you're kind of thinking of a kiddo needing that. Um, they give the example here of like a kiddo waking up scared um, in the middle of the night, then, you know, just applying a little bit of cedar wood to the bottoms of the feet. Again, you can take that drop, take, you know, maybe three drops of um, your carrier oil to be able to put that right on if you didn't have like a bowler bottle put together of it, um, if you have that popping up. Let's see, cinnamon. So cinnamon's actually a really great one to use like as a mouth rinse. And so um, you could drop just a drop of cinnamon um, in a couple ounces of water and have them gargle um, and rinse their mouth with that. Um, clary sage. So clary sage is a really nice one for restful sleep. So you could um, put a little bit on the pillowcase just to help them be able to fall asleep and, and get that rest. Ginger. Ginger is a really great one for the digestive system. And so um, the example they give here in the book is actually um, diffusing it on a car ride because um, oftentimes kiddos might um, deal with some car sickness. So that was a really good one. Um, I like to actually use, um, they do make car diffusers, but I actually just put a clothespin um, in, flip it onto the car vent and you can drop your oil right onto that. Um, I've seen people do it right on the wood. I actually have a piece of felt attached to mine and you can, can drop it on that way. Um, let's see, grapefruit. So any of you who have older kids, teenagers dealing with um, some acne, those kind of things going on, grapefruit is a great one to add to facial cleanser or moisturizer. Um, it is one of those photosensitive oils though. So you wanna make sure that um, that they're doing that like at nighttime before they're going to bed versus um, before they go out into the sun. Um, lavender, absolutely, of course. Um, most of us who have been using oils know um, lavender is kind of a top go-to oil for calming. It's a really great one to add to a kiddo's bath. Um, so you can add oils right into the bath water. Um, it's really good to actually add them into um, a bath salt, like an Epsom salt. Um, unscented one so that you can um, be able to, to really absorb the oil that you're putting in there. Um, lemon, got those kiddos who really crave sugary drinks um, and we really want to help them um, be more informed about that and what that can do for their body. And so um, adding lemon 
um, to a glass of water can actually be a way for them to feel like they're kind of getting that, um, that freshness and taste flavorful beverage without um, all those sugary additives that are in some other choices that they might want to make. Um, marjoram. Marjoram is a really good one for um, like fussy kiddos going on. Um, can really add it to their feet, um, you know, before naps. If you've got those younger ones still. Um, marjoram's actually in our Aroma Touch blend, and that's actually a really good one for kiddos when they're dealing with um, some growing pains, that sort of thing going on. Um, so if you're having kiddos with that, creating a massage with some of the Aroma Touch is a really great one for them. So it simultaneously would kind of be calming, so you might would do that before bedtime. Melaleuca, Melaleuca is all things skin, right? So we've got things going on with that skin, you can apply it right to some skin irritation going on um, with your fractionated coconut oil. As long as you're not applying it to broken skin, you just wanna be mindful of that. Uh, peppermint, peppermint's a really great one to use for kiddos. Um, when um, you've got some overheating going on, um, you can add peppermint oil to like a cold water compress, um, maybe like a, a cold foot bath would be helpful to kind of help cool down the temperature. Uh, sandalwood. So sandalwood um, is another great one actually to put in the bath. It's um, really helpful to relax and reduce stress. Um, I know sometimes I hear like, why do kiddos say they have stress? They do, you guys. And so let's make sure that we're just letting them know that it's okay and there's some tools that um, we can help them with. And so using some of these in the bath and knowing that they can use them to relax is important for them. Um, vetiver. So vetiver is a nice oil um, to calm those feelings down too. So um, applying a little bit to the back of the neck, the bottoms of the feet um, are a great way to do that. Um, and then wintergreen. Wintergreen for any of um, you who have kiddos who are participating in sports and they've got those stinky gym bags, um, putting a little bit of wintergreen on um, a cotton ball and popping it in the bag can kind of help with that. So those are some ideas um, about just single oils in general. I popped a few in there about some of our blends that we have. Um, there's so, so many. Um, there's even a kids collection now and so that um, is six different rollers actually. Um, I don't have mine with to show because I gave them um, to my nephew to use because he's really starting to learn that he can use these um, at four years old to know that there's some things that you can go to for these things. So we have ones for calming. We've got the calmer, we've got the thinker, stronger, um, the rescue, steady, and brave. And so they're really kind of like the doTERRA touch kit. So any of you who are familiar with some of those roller bottles in the touch kit or single um, touch rollers that are already pre-diluted with fractionated coconut oil, um, they're similar to that in the kids collection. They've just really put a couple of different oils together in those to really um, hone in on some of those areas like focus and calming and um, immune support and those kind of things based on and then what the kiddos might like. And it's super empowering for them because they know that they're made especially for them and they can use them out. And so those can be um, purchased in that kit, but they also are available individually now too, which is nice. So you can kind of look at those over on the website if that's something you're interested in. A couple other things that I wanted to add in as far as um, things that I think are super helpful for families to have around um, when we're thinking about using natural solutions for wellness. Um, our Breathe Vapor Stick. Um, I know some of you have used this. Um, such a great swap for um, other products that are out there that just have really some nasty things in them if we really dig in and look at the ingredients. So this one's gonna help um, be able to, um, to help with open up those respiratory, um, the respiratory system when things are going on. And so this one can be rubbed on the chest, it can be put on the bottoms of the feet um, to really help um, with any respiratory distress going on. Another really um, great product that I can't imagine any family living without actually um, is Correct X. Sorry, I think this is really bad reflection on our video tonight, but this is Correct X. This is a um, 
a first aid ointment. So anything that you might have um, used a first aid ointment before, this is a great swap. It's going to have um, lavender and helichrysum, frankincense, um, and cedarwood in there, which are so amazing for calming the skin. So I actually use this one for lip balm myself. Um, and just any sort of skin irritations popping up, anything you'd use a first aid ointment for. And um, this is a brand new tube, but I um, my other tube lasted for a year. So um, it's definitely a little bit goes a long way when you're, when you're using that too. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention is um, doTERRA does have these little beadlets, and so those are nice. Um, they're peppermint or On Guard, which On Guard is our um, protective blend, is the one that's really supportive for um, helping the immune system stay in defense against um, all sorts of illnesses, um, especially this time of year when they're, they're more rabid. So um, taking those little beadlets are helpful. Let's see, I got a question here. Could I use the correct X for chap cheeks? Yes, so you just wanna test it out a little bit um, on your kiddo's skin just to make sure that they're not having a sensitivity to it. So I'd say just take a little bit um, and see. It, it, um, it does have um, a little bit of like a zing to it sometimes when you put it on like dry lips. So that's just something that you wanna be aware of. It's not necessarily that, um, it's heating it up or anything like that. It's definitely safe for the skin. It's just um, might be a different reaction than, than used to. So yes, I definitely think that you could use it for that. Just make sure that you're testing it out a little bit first to make sure um, that everybody's comfortable with how it feels. Great question. So as I was talking about the beadlets, um, I was just gonna say, I've heard um, a lot of moms will give those on guard beadlets before the kiddo gets on the bus or as they hop out of the car in the morning, just kind of as a, here we go, let's get the defense on against any of those, those sickies that might be there as they join each other all together at school. So just another little idea for you guys. Um, quickly, I wanna talk about supplements. Um, supplementation is super, super important. Um, in our world today, our food, um, sadly, I, I feel like every day I'm seeing some, some good foods being recalled or something going on with that. But we want to make sure that we're supplementing some of that nutrition when these things are going on. Um, you know, our soil is super depleted of nutrients. So just really making sure that um, we're able to get the kiddos this, especially because they don't always like to eat that stuff either. <laughs> so um, as much as we can teach them about it, that of course is important about um, in the meantime, supplementing is helpful too. So um, we have the A to Z chewables. So that would be like the multivitamin. Um, they're a super fluid blend. I do encourage you to go on and look at those um, and compare them if you're already taking a vitamin or the kiddo's already taking a vitamin. Um, take a peek at those so you can really see what's in them. Um, you can actually see the supplemental facts right on the website. So if that's something you want to discuss with your kiddo's doctor, um, you could put that out and have it and be able to compare that to what you're already um, using. The IQ Mega is also um, a really awesome one for kiddos. It really supports all the systems of the body, um, especially brain health. Those are fish oils. Um, you can actually buy those two together too, so you can get them separately or together um, as a little kit for, for taking the supplements. And then um, PD Assist. So we hear lots and lots about um, the microbiome, there's so much more research coming out about making sure that the body has the good bacteria in there. Um, they're actually, you know, giving us this information that our body actually has more DNA of bacteria than of human DNA because there's just so much in there and it's not all bad. And so we want to make sure we're supporting the good. Um, and the way to do that is with probiotics. And so um, our PB Cis Junior is formulated for kiddos. Um, there's six different strains in there, especially for kids. It's in a powder form. It's not in a supplement. And so um, you definitely um, could put that in a beverage for kiddos to be able to take, or they can actually just take it um, in the powder form, which would kind of be like a pixie stick, but without all those sugary kind of things. They just might feel like they're getting a treat. Um, I saw a question there. Jana was asking, um, if the A to Z are chewables. Yes, they are chewables. 
Um, all right, let's see, anything else? Um, one last thing I forgot to mention actually when we talked about storage, um, make sure that you're keeping your oils out of direct sunlight and out of heat. Um, so we wanna make sure that they can stay in their best state um, by doing that. And that's why you'll see most oils are in those amber bottles that is helping protect it from direct light. But if you were like me and you love to play around with some of the fun roller bottle um, options out there, some of them aren't always that. So you just wanna be mindful of making sure that you're keeping them out of direct sunlight and out of the heat. All right, lastly, I wanna talk about how to get our kids involved, right? So um, one, letting them see you use them on yourself, right? So that's how you can kind of create that culture of how you do things in your home. Um, let them be a part of helping pick them out when you're going to diffuse something, um, giving some choices. So if you're looking you know, at a couple different blends that you know are helpful for sleep, letting them have some, some choice in that and some preference. They're gonna build some preference as you try different things with them and just have those, that dialogue with them, have those conversations with them. Um, you know, I talked about some of the touch rollers that are already diluted, um, made sure that they're, they're right um, and safe for kiddos. And so having those around so they feel like they can go to them, um, talking about them. So talking about how you're using them, like, oh man, I really have a, you know, some head tension. I'm, you know, putting this on. So they kind of know that you're using them for specific reasons or, oh my gosh, I really, you know, I'm mad about this thing that's happening. Let me put on um, one of my blends that's going to help kind of calm me down. So that's important for them to be able to see that. Um, another really cool thing that doTERRA has on the website is that there's a whole blog actually for science and kids, um, which is really cool. Um, there's this little workbook. So this is just a piece from it, but this is cool. These are the plants. They all have names. Um, for some of those elementary or younger kids. It's called the Science for Kids Workbook, Essential Oil Edition. And it's really cool. So it encourages them to be a little scientist and they can kind of go through and, you know, what science, why is it important, what is it in our life? You know, if you were a scientist, what would you study? It starts to dig into um, the different plants and essential oils, um, things that it might be interested in. Um, it is a 58 page workbook. So those of you who are at home for the next few days with um, are too cold for school days and you need something to do, that might be a fun little thing for them to do. So um, just really getting them involved and letting them know that these are options um, that they can have to help keep them well, I think is super, super important um, as we learn about them so that they can learn about them too. All right, so, um, you know, I talked earlier about resources. There's so many out there. Um, this is just one that I probably haven't talked much about. Um, so I talk about the essential life a lot, um, but this is oil magic. And so this book has like tons of different um, blends that you can make in there, diffuser, different things that you can make. They update it. Um, it actually has been consulted. Um, integrative medical providers have consulted on um, the information that's in here. So um, that's what I really like about this one. And before I close, I want to actually read a little excerpt from it because I thought it was super cool for the topic here of talking about using them. So um, I just want to share that with you. And so it says, when you make a habit of using natural remedies like essential oils, you learn that you have the ability to create the wellness that you want. Your oils are a treasure trove. They're versatile. They rarely produce side effects and they're friendly to your pocketbook when you compare them to doctor visits and medication costs. Enjoy all the things that oils can do for you. Enjoy the aromas and have fun blending oils to make your own aromas. Try creative DIY projects or even try putting them in your cooking or your baking. But most importantly, see what happens to your confidence as you learn to trust nature and yourself for your family's wellness. So I just thought that was super cool and kind of ties together everything we were talking about tonight. So um, thank you so much for joining. And please let me know if there's any way I can help you. Um, jump on over to sbellwellness.com. That's going to give you um, a great place to start. You, my contact information is all there. So if there's anything I can help you with, um, certainly jump on over there. 
for those of you who are here with me live, I will stick on if you have more questions. Um, but thank you so much for joining in. I'll see you soon.